All right, since this was another highly requested video, I decided to do again another back-to-back -back 4K rendering compression speed test between both the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And as you can see, both phones are relatively the same thermals, so this way, you know my testing methods are fair amongst these devices. Both devices are sitting around 28 Celsius, and the ambient temperature is at 25 Celsius. We will definitely check temperature again when this test is all done. Now, for the first test, I'll be using my favorite, LumaFusion. I edit actually all my videos through this app. With that being said, we will be compressing the same 4K 4-minute four video in all four rounds. I'll also be adding a coloring filter to further stress each device during render time. And as you can see, all of the settings are exactly the same. I'll make sure to do this with every round to make sure this test is fair. And here we go. Now with this test complete, the 15 Pro Max did win, but by a mere eight seconds. I'm definitely impressed with the S23 Ultra as the CPU is technically 40% slower, yet still going toe to toe with the 15 Pro Max. Now moving on to the next test here, we will use Adobe Rush, which is probably the most popular video editing app amongst mobile and PC devices. And just like before, I will set everything with the same settings. And here we go. Now with the second round complete, the iPhone crushed the S23 Ultra in this video rendering test. The S23 Ultra took about one minute and 14 seconds longer to complete this render. Now, this could be due to throttling as these tests are back to back or more so optimization. Hence why we are doing four tests rather than one to help draw a more fair conclusion. As you can see, we are now testing with Filmora, which has actually been known to be more optimized with Android devices. Therefore, hopefully we can see the S23 Ultra pull ahead in this next round. And again, as you can see, the settings are all the same. And here we go. Now that both phones completed this third round, the Galaxy S23 Ultra only lost again by a mere seven seconds. This again is very impressive. The S23 Ultra performed much better with this third test, but again, it seems the iPhone is continuing to trail ahead. Now, for this last test, I decided to go with a video app that was most popular in the Google Play Store. Hence, here we have InShot. And again, like before, we are using the same four minute clip and adding a color filter and then compressing the 4K video to 1080p. And here we go.
Now with this test complete, the iPhone won this last round in spectacular fashion. The S23 Ultra took about 34 seconds longer to complete this test. I do believe throttling may have been the culprit in this last round. Anyways, with all four rounds complete, it is clear the iPhone 15 Pro Max is indeed the performance king. However, the Galaxy S23 Ultra is no slouch. Two out of the four rounds, this Galaxy phone came razor close to creating a tied round. Therefore, you can't go wrong with either of these devices. Anyways, thanks for watching my version of this speed test. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the results and which phone you thought would win this test.